Okay, so guys, it's that time of the year where I officially... Could you stop sniffling? <laughs> Okay guys, so it's officially that time of the year where I switch out my wardrobe. I did a video like this last year, so if you haven't seen that, I totally recommend it. I'll put it right here on the screen, or you can click down below, or don't. I actually don't have an issue with you not seeing it. This is what we're working with. So, this is what we're working with. Absolutely amazing. Here are all of our spring summer clothes. Now, now you're probably thinking so. <laughs> So you're probably thinking, Santana, okay, have you got clothes with tags on? And the answer is absolutely yes. I've literally, like, I did a full Zara haul last year. I remember doing it and I remember showing you. I'll find the vlog that I did it in. And I've yet to wear any of these clothes. So we're currently working with this monstrosity. Some things in there that will be staples all season round. For example, like I will keep my leather blazer in here. Whether I will be getting rid of all of my chunky cardigans and things like that because I don't want to overheat. Let's begin. So a couple of things I wanted to show you. I I found these ribbed, these little ribbed vests that I got. I don't know if you can tell. I actually picked these up from h and I'll do my best to link them in the description below. I don't know if you can see, it's got a little ribbed material on it. Those will be staying. As you guys know, sunglasses are literally a big part of me and my brand and my outfits and things like that. So these will definitely be a keeper. Um, do I need any more? No, but you guys know I will end up buying more uh, because I have no self-control and someone actually needs to stop me. Didn't you say so? Hello? Well, yeah. Yeah, we're asking the viewer. Thank you so much. That's you. You agreed. Okay, so I was just going through my wardrobe and I've just found this. I think I've worn this once for an Instagram photo. If I have, I'll pop it up on the screen. Um, and you'll probably think, Zatanna, how did you ever wear it again in the summer? The answer is no. And we may have a lot of potential this summer. So this summer, I'm going to my first ever wedding. So one of my amazing best friends at work is literally getting married and I'm so beyond grateful and happy that I'm invited. And I can't wait to turn it up and outdo everyone first at the wedding. It's not my wedding, but I'm gonna show up and show how she wouldn't mind. And secondly being, I'm gonna pop my pussy for a real one. And so I picked up this vest. It's actually got a little cut out. I wore this last year with a jumper, like a crochet jumper that I got from an Instagram store. I can't remember what it is, but I'll put the outfit up on the screen. I think to date, that's probably one of my one of, one of of my favorites. So I've just found all of my birthday cards from lockdown. One of them being from my friend, Emma. And you can hear her laughing in the back right now. Do you want to say anything? Yeah, sure, I'm just it. <laughs> Y'all heard it here first. Basically, if you, if you wanted to know, we're the type of friends, so basically, in our little friend group, there's me, my best friend Emma, and best friend Molly. We're a little trio. We've gone through a whole panini press together, we trained professionally together, and now we FaceTime each other daily. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? Yeah? Yeah. Um, and we're the type of friends that don't show affection to one another. So when we do, we uh, think, one, it's a joke. <laughs> or two, we cringe. Yeah, 100%. But I think that deep down, we always know that we're there for one another. This is the card Emma made me. I know, I got a little mems. And then this is the one that my friend Molly made me. This is going back to like lockdown days. And time lapse of me cleaning out the rest of my wardrobe. brought these trousers. Uh, they were oversized. And this is the print. They look absolutely amazing. Honestly, on, they were so comfy. What is that? Like, I could literally, if I tried hard enough, which I'm not going to, I could rip the seam. They're so thin. So yeah, these are just going in the bin. No, 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 no. Hold up, baby, don't stress it. it worth it, you want me. Uh, okay, so we are a little bit later on and it looks like I've got absolutely nowhere. Which is, you know, partly all right. However, comma, I've got a lot of clothes to throw away and it's made me realize that I need to be more conscious in what I'm buying and or throwing away. But some things just have like a sentimental meaning. Like for example, like Orange Juice, the brand, I literally, but first of all, RIP, no longer in business, but you can still shop from them. They use my discount code in the description. Like this was my first ever jumper that I ever brought from them. And it was my first ever like brand partnership when I first started like social media. I can't get rid of the jacket. Did it fit? No. I just don't think I'll ever wear this. So. Okay guys, so it's a little bit later on. It's currently 20 past four and I have 
started this video at half 11. This has taken me longer than I expected. As you can see behind me, there is some amazing filler in the wardrobe. I currently have three bags of clothes down here that I will be donating. We literally have like one of those donation bins for the Salvation Army around the corner from where I live. So for me personally, I don't wanna make money off of my own clothes. I just think personally, I find it a little weird for me. Um, and I just wouldn't charge anyone anything in real life anyway, unless it was like, unless it was like a Marc Jacobs or a, my Cartier bracelet or something like expensive that has value. Life for clothes, I don't think I ever will. <laughs> Okay. Okay, sure. Yeah, this is true. Right, bear okay. with. Bear with. Let me just let me just let me just film there. Alright, sure. <laughs>